day two here from Cappadocia and we just woke up extra early it's 4 a.m. in the morning and woke up that early because it looks like we're going to be able to do the hot air balloon ride for the sunrise and yeah you got to wake up this early so right now we're just in front of our hotel and we're waiting for some sort of van shuttle bus to pick us up it's extra cold isn't it Carol? yeah I think it's probably seven or eight degrees Celsius right now so we have uh, many clothes <laughs> yeah many we'll layers many layers and <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited too. All right, here we go. Yeah, us. Whoa. <laughs> Carol, we forgot to mention it's our first time in a hot air balloon, right? Yes, finally. So this is 150 euros per person. All right, we're going. <laughs> At least it's nice and warm, Carol. Yeah, it's very warm. I think we lifted up, right? Yeah. Okay, that was nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. I think we're one of the the highest now. Yeah. It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, don't look down. Wow, look at the rock formations from here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Where is uh, Goremi town, you know? I think it's over there. Over there? Yeah. 700 meters. Wow, 700 meters. better views of the rocks up close we're gonna crash yeah it almost seems too close <laughs> yeah <laughs> man look how close we are I think if you stood there you could have touched yeah. the bottom of our everywhere <laughs> we're literally like trimming the plants <laughs> I think this is the valley that we hiked in wasn't it Yes, I think so. The Red Valley in the last video. Amazing views, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this has got to be up there with uh, one, one of our best travel experiences. Yeah, the best sunrise. One of the best sunrise. <laughs> All right. Uh, Made it. I'm sad that it's ended. <laughs> I want a two hour. Two hour trip. Uh, yeah. Uh, but one hour was good. Look at this, the views that you get. Still more over there because some left later than we left, right? Yeah. I think all the tours are always an hour. <sighs> Worth every penny. Yeah, it's just magical. It's <laughs> very, a very unique experience. And yeah. I think it, it's, like you said, it's worth it. And uh, it's definitely better than seeing from the, from like the ground. It's better to fly <laughs> in the balloon. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Oh, we didn't mention the tour also gives you uh, breakfast, right? Yeah, just some, some like snacks and croissant, water, yeah. juice. Mm -hmm. And at the end we get uh, champagne, I think. <laughs> Look at that. This shows you how much control they have. Look how low they're flying. They haven't just taken off. <laughs> they just fly that low. Whoa. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for everything. How was your flight? Good. Awesome. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay, you are happy. I'm happy. <laughs> now, champagne time. Are you ready? Morning shower. <laughs> yes or not? No. Yes. yes. Okay, one, 
One, two. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Might be the earliest that I've ever drank alcohol. Oh yeah, cheers. <laughs> cheers. 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 So we ended up getting a rental car in Goremi. So this is 35 euros for the day, brand new car. And we've come to a spot called Uchisa. Supposed to be a nice town. And we've come for the wow. castle, which is back there. Already looks impressive. Yeah, wow. So it's only about 10 minutes away from Goremi. The place looks quite similar to Goremi as well. Buildings are a similar style. Obviously have the rugs and carpets everywhere. <laughs> everywhere in Turkey. So it's definitely a unique castle for us because it's not a man-made structure. There was just this huge bizarre rock here. Yeah, and they just built into it, kind of like the houses that you get around here. But this rock's absolutely massive, so that's why it became a castle. Oh, look at the size of this dog. Yeah. <laughs> Gigantic. Look at the size of this dog. Yeah, it's a big tongue you got there, bro. The size of his head. The entry fee is 50 lira per person to enter. Right at the entrance there's already like an art gallery. Got some art pieces here. So I think the main walkway is on the outside. But you can go inside as well and explore. Oh, check this cave out here. Watch out for the holes, Gav. Yeah. Loads of holes in this place. Right, this part has like legit castle doors. Looks like the dining table or something. <laughs> yeah, well, very big yeah. wooden table. So on this side of the castle, you can see Goremi, where we're staying. It's that town down there, town or village. And there's even a huge mountain back there with snow on the top. On Google Maps, it shows that it's about an hour and 30 minutes away. Looks close from here, but yeah, it is far. This castle is 60 meters high and during the Byzantine era there would have been about a thousand people living here in the castle. Unfortunately today Carol's got a bit of food poisoning we think. Yeah. Not just today, yesterday too. Yesterday it started and I didn't know what it was because I was only feeling like very weak and also I had like back pains. And that was during the big trail? Yeah. I was like almost fainting at some time so I'm taking the um, activated charcoal and I'm a bit better from the diarrhea but I'm still very weak but I want to see this place so that's why I'm here we are leaving tomorrow I want to enjoy it so I think this is going to be the hardest thing that we're doing in terms of exercise so yeah hopefully it's easier from here We drove 30 minutes from the last spot and we come to a place called Derin Kuyu. And this is where you'll find the Derin Kuyu underground city. I don't think we've been to an underground city before. So here you can see a side view drawing of the underground city. See how insane it is. So it's four floors overall. 
and this is the biggest one they have found in Turkey and this place is a hundred so 50 more than the last one all right we're going down under underground <laughs> my eyes need to get used to the darkness yeah, mine too. Yeah, I can see better on the camera than I can with my eyes. Is there steps there? <laughs> okay. And it's extra cool. Yeah, right? Yeah, I was expecting it to be pretty cool down here, but it's really cold. So they do have the arrows to help you. Because, <laughs> yeah, you'll get lost down here otherwise. It's going to be hard to film, right, in the dark. Yeah, it's very dark. Yeah, it's super dark. Food storage room. Yeah, I guess they would store things in these kind of pots here. So just to give you an idea of how big this is, it goes 85 meters deep and it could shelter 20,000 people. 20,000 people could stay in here. Livestock as well, so they'd have the animals down here and they'd be able to store all the food as well. And another crazy tunnel. So this area was uh, raided a lot, so that's why they needed to shelter down here as protection. So it was the Byzantine Christians. So they came down here during the Byzantine Arab Wars with the Arab Muslims. They would come down here for protection. And even when the Mongolians invaded this region, they come down here too. And the Ottomans, but they eventually lost to the, the Ottomans. It'd be kind of crazy even invading this place because you don't know what's going on at all, right? Yeah. There's all like traps and things like that. Yeah, and what if they got stuck here inside and... I mean, they had food and animals, but just for some period of time. Oh, you mean survive. not the invaders, the people... Yeah, the people living here. Yeah, I, I think they have loads of storage though. So we're going down one floor right now. And each floor can be blocked off, so... Roll it over there. So even the floors that we're gonna visit going down will have those little rolling uh, doors. Wow, so this uh, next floor, we're just going down and down and we never get there. actually the way to the final floor Carol it says ventilation shaft yeah that's another thing right they had to control all the airways and stuff like that so people could breathe oh is that it yeah this is a thing I thought it was a well but... oh yeah so it's not a well this is just ventilation to all floors so you got the floor down there uh, here's a good example guys of one of the pathways that are blocked off by the circular rock yeah, the, the tunnel that way. Maybe they made it so you had to crouch down to make it more difficult for people to invade. Yeah. I think so, right? Yeah, it's all about protection. Yeah, nobody can run in here and attack. Look, you have to crouch like this everywhere. Our knees are gonna be sore in the end of this day and our backs. All right, how do we get out here now? At least you can stand up here. Finally. Now our eyes have to get used to the sunlight again. <laughs> and now we're just looking for a restaurant to eat at here. This looks more like a local village. Doesn't seem really touristy at all. I don't think any tourists stay here. Okay. These guys want a picture. Uh, good, <laughs> good. <laughs> Hello, it's video. <laughs> So we come to a local store and this is the cheapest meal that we've had so far. So that's um, a donner, chicken donner. 
in there. And this is 20 lira overall with a uh, Aira. It's a big, big sandwich. Yeah, it's huge too. Really big donor. Camels in Cappadocia. Didn't realize there would be camels out here. Pretty sure camels aren't native to this region, right? No, they probably just brought them here to, to do the photos. Yeah. So I think this is gonna be our last stop of the day because we're both dead. Carol's kind of sick and we got up so early. So yeah, we're just really tired. It's not even that late, but we're just so tired right now. And this is the Goremi open air museum a uh, popular area so this museum is 150 to enter straight at the start you already get this huge rock kind of looks like a mini version of that castle that we saw yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> can even see some frescoes right yeah. little church i don't think you can go up there though it's closed but there's supposed to be some more cool churches around here so if you watched yesterday's video we went to a valley and we entered loads of places like that Loads of these cliffs, loads of uh, buildings and uh, churches. Already around the towns like Goremi, there's loads of rocks that are just abandoned that aren't even really touristy, but you can go and explore them all pretty much. So we just went into a church here, which is the best church that we've seen in Cappadocia so far. So you're not allowed to take pictures inside, but yeah, that's how it looks right there. All the colors are completely preserved. You can see the images clearly. So it's a shame that I couldn't show you how it looked because yeah, it did look incredible. Really surprised that it's still uh, so perfect, the drawings. So we entered this other little church here. So this is kind of how the other one looked but the other one was just more preserved. Yeah, some areas are completely detailed still. Even the colors too, they're still very vivid. Some amazing designs. Probably some of the coolest drawings I've ever seen in a church. Carol just reminded me that the famous saint, St. George, was born here in Cappadocia. I don't think they have any images of him, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. I wanted to know maybe if we hired a guide, we would know. <laughs> but yeah, in Brazil, Cappadocia is a very famous place because of St. George. St. George is famous everywhere, I think. <laughs> England, the flag. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> the, the flag of St. George. So we were just talking about if one had any images of St. George and here's a list of the churches and there is one here, I guess that's him, St. George was maybe. So one of those guys is St. George, but I don't know where that place is. Oh, I saw it. Oh, you did? Yeah, because uh, when I saw it, I, I thought about it. Maybe it's St. George because of the horse. So yeah, but I wish I knew it before. <laughs> Yeah, you can see they all look really cool. All the same, uh, similar colors, like the blues, the dark reds, yellows, every single one. And that's it here from Cappadocia. It's been an amazing place and it definitely lives up to the hype. Just didn't realize there's so much to do here before. Usually in the pictures, I'd always just see the hot air balloons and Goremi town, 
but there's just so many valleys and so many other areas to visit and we could easily come back here and do loads of other things that we didn't get to do on this trip so pretty sure that will happen at some point in the future and we're going to be leaving here tomorrow morning so the next video is going to be from the mediterranean coast of turkey there's some incredible beaches here i've actually been to the beach areas here when i was uh, little so i already know they're amazing and our first stop will be a spot called bodrum that we've never been to so looking forward to that if you like this video just drop a like to support us subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one follow us on instagram and facebook and we'll see you in the next one